Why are you still holding him? It's because he's an Igbo man. It's because of the kind of hatred you have against Igbo man. Igbo phobia. Igbo phobia. If anybody looks at you and that person is a fool and I also Yoruba, he will be very jealous of you. Uh, Mba. Peter Mba. Peter Mba is not happy over that. That Nan the Kanu is about coming out. Because they know that if eventually, if Nan the come, Kanu comes out, they are all what? Backing out. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, that's a good warning. A nice one from Simon Epa, their friend Prime Minister in exile. And uh, I want to tell you that what you have seen in the recent time about the Southeastern Governor Forum trying to visit Asu Rock in favor of Nam the Kano incarceration is just an eye service. None of them is even happy that Simon Epa is over there in Finland doing his agitation transaction. They are happy with Epa. None of them is even happy that United Nations and USA is at least negotiating among themselves about the release, the current suggestion to let Nandekano off the cage. Let me tell you, Uso Opuzonuma is not happy. Charles Soludo, Omahe's, uh, what do you call that boy? Omahe's uh, uh, successor. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mba, Peter Mba. Peter Mba is not happy over that, that Nandekano is about coming out. Because they know that if eventually, if now the come, Kanu comes out, they are all what backing out. All of them will pack out from southeastern Nigeria. We don't play politics of Wayo in Igbo land. Mm. Whom we are, we are honest people, we are hardworking. We don't tolerate crook, crooked politicking. No. When you are playing politics in Nigeria, make sure in Igbo land, make sure you do redeem all your promises to the southeasterners. Failure to do so. They are coming after you. So what I'm trying to say here is that negotiation for Nandekanu, good. All we are working towards now is let Nandekanu come out. If anybody asks him, those governors or Tinubu himself, will you, must you don't do this? Yes, I will do it. It is called Durex. Nandekanu is a well-learned, educated man. Everything you do there is under Durex. When you come out, you tell the whole world what transpired mm. when you were at DSS facilities. That they force you. We mm. don't need to educate people on this. Mm. I don't know what I understand. So if they negotiate for server, you come out because it's obvious that court set you free. Then the can was freed by appeal court, by high court. Umwaya, Abuja, why are you still holding him? It's because he's an Igbo man. It's because of the kind of hatred you have against Igbo man. Igbo phobia. Igbo phobia, if anybody looks at you, and if that person is a fool and I also Yoruba, he will be very jealous of you. Why? I don't know. This kind of hate against Igbo man, it started as early as how many centuries ago. Look at Igbo man doing well. It concerns you. Go and work hard and do well. Is that your business? Of course, the first month of the year is January. It's just like on your mass. Set. Power. Everybody start the race of life. Igbo man run and runs. Many kilometers away. From all the Portuas, the anti Igbos. That's why they will never, you know, retract from hurting Igbo man. So, what I'm trying to say here is that anti Igbo movement is on course. That's why now the Kano has been freed. Still, they retain him there. Illegal detention of a man doing the right business. See, let me tell you, history is going to judge everybody. United Nations is aware of what I'm saying, and USA, now the Kano is going to come out willy nilly. Nigeria must be dragging, lacking behind. Dragging. As we move, the full and as a result of their too much fanaticism, that is religious fanaticism, they will be dragging Nigeria backward. Look at what Buhari did. From 2023 to 2015, Nigeria has gone, gone backward to 15 years. Backward. Because of love for religion. Religion is man's method to associate with God. Is religion God? Or Galamite, religion can never be God. And religion can never be right with God. Mm. Because you are doing it your own human way. I don't know what I understand. Mm. God knows your heart. What matters is your heart with God. It's not when you wear white and become a holy, holy man. man. It is not when you dress in a way that a mom and alpha dresses that God will see your heart. It is not when you wear the robe that bishop and pastor put on. It's when God will know you. God knows the state of your heart. 
most of them that are claiming to be Islamic clerics, like Gumi, Cheikh Gumi, has been banned in the Saudi Arabia. It can never go this uh, Hejira. Hejira is a run of Muhammad from Medina to Mecca. <laughs> Hejira. He can never go to Saudi to celebrate Hijira because Saudi Arabia has banned him. What did he do? Many years. I don't know. You don't know what he did? Gumi that is just was among the cabals. Mm. When Buhari was Nigerian president, you say you don't know what he did. <laughs> so when you are doing something, people are monitoring you. Gumi doesn't know that his name has been, you know, trading on internet globally. Mm. The Arabs are watching. Yes, the Jews, the black, the white Jews, mm. Anglo-Saxon, they are watching. Mm. Almost all the races mm. across the seven continents of the world are aware of what these people are doing in Nigeria. That's why Gome, Saudi Arabia could not allow him to go to Medina. Yes, he has been banned. Mamu was on his way to Iran to go and plan with uh, Chiites. To perfect their terrorist activities in the northeast he was apprehended on the airport cairo cairo airport egypt that was where cia what arrested mamu where is mamu today we don't know maybe the government of buhari has bribed the america out but all i know is that the key wanted on the wanted list of united states of america a terrorist is mamu mamu is gone today they rush Che Gumi's home to search his home because he has st strong tie or link with Mamu. Today, we don't know anything about that case, that case, but he's under the net. He's on the net of who? CIA. So you have many people that are being unfriendly to humanity in the North Nigeria. Not, um, not Igbo man. Igbo man is minding his business. Say we are their trouble. We are their problem. We are their hypertension. Hmm. I tell you, it's, we're gonna go a long way. But what I'm telling you is that Nandekano, whether Moment. in or out, okay, I'm very happy that Biafra is coming in my time. It's coming your time. Thank you. I discover that this was Biafra's are more serious to get what they want. Therefore, they come to give solidar solidarity to Bia France. You see, <clears throat> Kenyan, Kenyan youth are trying to break Guinness records of the youth of Africa in general. You know, their protests, they do not carry gun. Their protests are like not the protests of barbarians. They know what they are protesting for. Mm. They know what they are crying for. They don't want themselves to be pushed to the wall before they start protesting. That is why it's only one kingdom, one thing, only one tax increment. Most of the youth are undergraduates. Or I think so five percent of them are undergraduates or people that are still coming in secondary school or primary school. And they know that if that this tax is decreased, it will affect their parents. It will affect them also financially. And if the tax is increased, government uh, 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 officials have nothing to lose. They will continue to loot. It was the looting they loot that made their economy to roll down, that they want to increase tax to balance what they have loot. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. And uh, this youth rise up. They don't know what the future will be if they did not stop this mess now. Rise up now. Their own could be worse for mm. than Nigeria own. You understand? Instead of Nigeria youth to protest, the Jakpa. But can you can I, can I use refuse to, to, to Jakpa? They protest. And if I see now that their protests have made impact. To the government and they are trying to play a modern, uh, modern role for african youth in general now and they come to african youth can't discover that this was bia france are more serious 
to get what they want. Therefore, they come to give solidar solidarity to Bia France. More encouragement to Bia France. Say, so keep on on what you are doing. You are doing the right thing. You are on the right course. We support you. Now, what they are saying is shows that what their government under Uhuru Kenyatta, they don't name the Kalo, they are against it. Which means, had they been kidnapping of Nam the Kalo, was open show. This has proof that the use of Kenya will never agree. They will fought for the defense of Nam the Kalo. And they're trying to tell the whole world that what their government did, Uhuru Kenyatta, in his own time, he was a shameless president. President who loved corruption. President who loved evil. That's why he support evil deal to kidnap Nam the Now they're coming to tell Bia France, keep on, we are with you. If you succeed, no matter what happened, we give you at least moral support. Now they know that it's better for you to die for freedom, justice, and equity than to be alive and remain a prisoner forever. Mm. Than to be alive and become a slave to your, in your own country. You say you are one Nigeria. You remain a slave to one tribe. They say no, it cannot be done. And to see how Kenya youth come together without the differences of their religion, different differences of their tribe, they come together to fight for, for one common good, to emancipate themselves and their future. And they have discovered that, that this is what their friends are doing. So they give us encouragement to fight until we get our own freedom. And uh, the fact that their friends are fighting or protesting mm. or defending themselves, mm. Not for the betterment of Nigeria. Not for the uh, 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 turning over good things of Nigeria. But because their friends have seen that there's no progress in for Nigeria. Hmm. There's no hope of any good thing again for Nigeria. So they decided to leave themselves. So their friends are protesting. Their friends are fighting, their friends are defending themselves, their friends are crying. So total emancipation of themselves out of the bad governance that lead to so many crimes in Nigeria. They want to separate themselves. And the Kenyan people have found out that this is the best thing the Biafran youth can do. Because if you watch agitation of Biafran, because the youth are doing it. The so-called elderly people that are said that they are, they are honest and they are, they are evil elites, all of them are not for Nigerians. If the youth, at least 99 youths of Biafra are in support of Nigeria. I mean, so, sorry, in support of Biafra. That is why they don't play with sit at home, one day sit at home. They don't play with it. And the Kenyan people have seen that what they are fighting for is the best thing for them. So detach themselves from Nigeria. That's what they give them that advice. You better die for freedom and get the freedom than to be alive and be slave or prisoner forever. You see the people that reason well. Now some people will come with social media. Uh, someone is not doing well. Someone is a is a brother is getting word. Someone is doing this barbarians. They come and talk anyhow. Even if some other person abroad do uh, uh, give me instruction, can they do it? You are condemning some other person abroad uh, not doing anything. Just mm. give me instruction. Can you come here yeah. and fight? You that is in Nigeria, what do you do? Are you able to kill ants? Mm. How much do you open mouth and talk? You are seeing some other mm. the person you, you can talk to anyhow. If you some other person in their presence, can they talk? Can they look at some other face to face and talk? Mm. Eh? So I love the advice that Kenya youth give to Biafran youth. And uh, I love what Kenya youth are doing. I love how they're teaching other African nation youth to act in a, a way they're supposed to act.
not a South African youth that rise up killing their fellow black mm. in South Africa. Mm. No, no, that was barbarian. Mm. Or rise up to be materially white as African have, have, have come to an end. That one is a barbarian. They are doing the they're, right thing. They are not doing the right thing. Mm. South African youth mm. rising up, killing their fellow blacks in South Africa. Or fighting, maltreating the whites when apartheid have ended. No more apartheid. That was a barbarian. Let them go and fight the, their government. They should check unemployment when whites were in power. Mm. And check unemployment now that blacks are ruling. They should check the downfall of South African economy. Now and check where what are there yeah, the, the, the economy of South Africa. Mm. All the whole infrastructure, all the whole building, the whole the whole factory. Is it not white that built it? The only mistake what they did in South Africa is that a, 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 a apartheid system they practice. That's the only mistake they do in South Africa. But the white makes South Africa to be proud mm. in development. They make South Africa to be proud in development. Look at now what people have entered, apart from Nelson Mandela. After Nelson Mandela, all the president in South Africa, they lose treasury. All the old government in South Africa, black government in South Africa, mm. they lose treasury. Mm. They don't look at Kenya youth. Look at what Kenya youth are fighting against corruption. And if Kenya youth, Kenya youth succeeded like this, any government will come in to respect them. Any government that will come in. Now, it shall be government of the people, government of the youth, by the youth and for the youth. This is what Kenya youth are trying to do. Democracy of Kenya should be by the youth, for the youth. That's what they are doing. Democracy of the youth, by the youth and for the youth. That's what the youth, the youth, Kenya youth are trying to establish. No more, no more recycling leadership. All the people continue to recycle them as Nigeria will be. We continue to recycle all the outdated, aged leaders. We continue to recycle them. And you to be doing talks for them. You to be doing talk talk for them in Nigeria. Kenya people want to bring it to an end. Now, any youth that fought any corrupt government in Kenya, eventually, any of them that rise up to power will not be misbehaved because he knew what he did to others. If he misbehaved or her misbehaved, the law of karma will come against him. So, everybody, you will see that if they succeed now, Kenya government will put the be in order. Not that no country, even America, no country that their leaders will not take one kobo or two kobo mm. out of their treasury, but not like African owned. Africa owns too much.